Okay, here we are in a fine uh, late spring morning on the University Forest. I'm going to demonstrate how to kill a hardwood tree without using herbicide. Um, relies on peeling, not girdling, the, the bark off of the tree to interrupt the translocation from the crown where the sugars are formed to the roots, right? So we're trying to interrupt the foam. So all we you can only do this in a narrow window, probably at most two months, maybe not even that, six weeks long, from mid-May to maybe end of June. So we're right in the middle of the prime peeling season right now. There was a time when, uh, probably from the 30s through the 60s even, when pulpwood was actually peeled in the woods uh, by workers this time. They would cut the trees, peel them, and then leave them out there and yard them in the wintertime. That didn't last. Uh, men hated the work, of course, because they're out there working, you know, in the bugs. But so here we go. So you can do this either with an axe, a small hand axe, or you can use uh, these nice silky uh, saws. This is the smallest one, the Pocket Boy. Folds like this. We've, if you've seen my YouTube uh, video on pruning and the main woodland articles, we go over these. There's a bigger version. Uh, the uh, the big boy, which has a longer blade, the same concept. They're razor sharp and they're, they're excellent at this. So what we're going to do is trying to, we're just going to remove a strip of bark around this beech tree by severing the bark like this. What we got to do is cut through it. You don't really want to go into the wood. You, all you're trying to do here is remove the bark. Because if we remove the wood, if we go into the wood at two, then we will interrupt the water flow to the crown and kill the top of the tree, which will then cause it to sprout. Okay, so we're going to go up several inches. Let's cut around here again, and then the saw is failing here. that now in two places and now all we really need to do is remove that bark like this. You can't do this in the winter time. The bark will be tighter than anything. You can just, just go around. Building a log cabin. This is the time you want to cut your logs. I've got a problem here. I can't peel it easily because of the, the beach being diseased. It's got some cankers here in the back. Normally, like in a red maple or a smooth bark tree, you won't have this trouble. So it's coming off pretty well. Actually, I've done this in a tree. If, once you get shredded, you can actually just take this silky saw and just peel it right off. That's all there is to it. That's done, right? So the, the key, we have now uh, severed off the phloem, which is actually this little fleck tissue right here inside the bark, uh, but not the, not the xylem or the wood, which is moving the water from the roots to the crown. So this beech tree, will actually stand here alive for years. I mean, this could live for four or five years, actually, especially since it's root grafted to this adjacent tree. Uh, I'm, I'm almost certain of that, because beech, of course, root suckers. We can see the suckers here in the understory. But eventually, this, the, the, what's the idea here is that we will starve out the root system, right? So that, 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 so it will not sprout. This is the only way you can prevent sprouting of a hardwood tree without using the herbicide, right? The option, of course, would also be to do this. You can do a hack and squirt, uh, where you hack into the tree like this. You don't have to, when you're using a herbicide, you don't have to be all that neat about it. You just need to get 
In fact, you want to you actually leave, chop into the wood a little bit because you want this stuff to translocate um, in the tree. So that's all you need to do. And then you add just a little bit of, uh, this is 25% solution of glyphosate. You're just in water. And that's all you need to do. That So that tree is now dead. It doesn't know it yet, but that tree will die within months. Uh, this one will take years. So that's the beauty of the herbicide. If you're into instant gratification, that will, this is the certain way to both kill that tree and prevent it from sprouting because of the, the herbicide will translocate to the root systems. Uh, this is, if you don't want to use the herbicide or fool with it, you don't have any, this will also work but you have to do it this time of year. Interestingly, this is a bad time of year to kill a tree by just cutting it. If we just cut this tree, it's the worst time of year because the roots uh, will, um, that still have reserves in them, the root reserves are not exhausted yet, and that the tree will just immediately put up suckers within the growing season and, and live on. So, that, and that would happen if you hacked into the wood here too, right? If you went in like, uh, just for illustration, you wouldn't do both of this, but if you start cutting in like that into the xylem tissue, now you're cutting off the water flow and the crown will die quickly and the, the tree's response will be to put up new root suckers, vegetative growth. So this is this is a slow death, but certain starvation of the root system. So that's how you do it.